what's going on YouTube thanks for viewing just wanted to do a little video since I'm playing around trying to modify my son's little toy truck or not truck car I think it's a 118 skill I mean looks about like that anyways so this car takes five double A batteries and doesn't seem like it has a whole lot of power with the rechargeables with the 1.2 volt and these are 2400 mAh um, I have some energizers that are 23 and 1400 and nothing really makes a difference but anywho so I took it apart and the only battery that I really have is the factory red cap battery or another 7.2 volt battery that's 6800 which I might actually put that 6800 in here because that thing will last forever well you know what I mean so this is actually from my factory red cat ESC that I fried which I have right here so I took all the wires out and then of course this thing's trash that's fried see the big black computer chip and then right there's a black area yeah that's pretty much where it fried and the metal piece that was on here I touched it for some reason and burnt the crap out of my finger anyways so I took these two pillars off that were about an inch high and if you see it fits on there and then with the bracket that goes on the back right here I should have just enough clearance but my problem is, is how am I going to charge it? Because it's not going to be fun to take out four bolt or four screws every time you need to charge it. Take the cap off. Of course, that cap will stay on, and then the battery sits on that. Um. So what I did is I first I took the I think it's a capacitor. This actually came off the red cap ESC, and then extended the wire so I could positive and negative up. And didn't seem like it actually give it any more power with the 7 volt battery, which I'm very shocked to say the least. I thought this thing was just gonna. I was actually scared I might fry it because I thought the 7 volt would be too much. And it actually seems to be just right. So, took a JST connector that I had. Of course, I connected. I made a little connector right here on the bottom of the connector that came off the factory red cap ESC and I'm in business uh, I think I have this thing on am I on nope look I even had to modify this my son stepped on it and broke it I had to put a screw in there and put some electric uh, liquid tape on there actually there's the liquid tape right there I did two coats and it actually feels really nice so bravo for me Alright, I'm going to try to get to the point. So, I have some 3.7 volt LiPos ordered. And so I'm hoping I can fit two of them in here if I need two of them. I'm going to cut out the little dividers. I'm going to remove all this stuff. Uh oh, I think I hear my little son. Daddy might be too loud. And then, should be in business. Oh. Here's the front. I also have some little light buckets. I'm thinking about putting in some little LEDs. I have some 3mm LEDs. Um, the blue ones I have are going to go in... Oh, got the video perfect. The blue one I have is going to go in the little Summit truck. If you've seen those videos, I have a couple videos up. I have about 11 videos, actually. So this is number 12. And I'm going to... Put those in there as soon as I get everything figured out. And so these, I have some green ones. I have those violet ones that I first put in a sumo. I think I might. I have, I don't know, a couple of different colors in here. I have the white ones, of course. Like I said, the white ones are going to go in the truck. I have the blue ones. Actually, I might put the blue ones in there. I don't know yet. Anyways, let's see. So it's on. Now, nothing impressive, but...
that's pretty quick for a little bit. Engine. It has a little computer board right here, but I haven't never seen on a little engine like this before, which is kind of intriguing. Kind of makes me just want to take this thing off and straight wire it and see if there's a built-in resistor for the power, for the speed, or not. But anyways, so the other thing I'm thinking about doing is putting in drilling in a hole through the battery, and then I can put the connector in the battery compartment, and then it might be easier to make a big enough hole where I can just run this down in there and connect it in there. That way when I'm going to recharge it, I can just disconnect it and recharge it. Of course I don't have to get that part to recharge, but whatever. So, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just going to button everything up. And thank you for viewing. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, and God bless. Have a good one.